After images of anti-Semitism appeared in a number of Cobb County schools in September, the county school board on Thursday passed an anti-Semitism and racism resolution. But as Joe Hankey found out, community leaders believe the resolution is only a good first step. Joe, now more action, they say, is needed. Yeah, that's what they're calling for, Cheryl. A rabbi who has been advising the Cobb County School Board tells me students who attend his temple have been in fear after recent incidents. He says the resolution is a starting point for addressing anti-Semitism, but definitely does not do enough to start addressing issues of racism. I hope this board will go beyond words and take action. It should never, ever happen again. Holocaust survivor Herschel Greenblatt spoke before the Cobb County School Board on Thursday and referenced anti-Semitic slurs and swastikas recently being found inside Pope and Lassiter High Schools. Greenblatt spoke after the board adopted this anti-Semitism and racism resolution, referencing the recent incidents. If you're going to mention racism in a resolution about anti-Semitism, then you actually have to figure out what, why, why is that word there and what are you going to do with it? Rabbi because Larry Cernovitz of Marietta worked with the board as it crafted the resolution. He says it is a positive step for the Jewish community as it denounces recent anti-Semitic events, but fails to condemn any specific incidents of racism. There is a lot of pain, not only in the Jewish community, but as well as in the black community in Cobb County um, over a lot of issues. Including the word racism came at the last second and to the surprise of the board's only two black members. I would like for us to consider an anti-Semitism resolution on its own. That is what we discussed last month. That is what we presented to the public. Board member Leroy Trey Hutchins requested tabling the resolution so it could be worked on further, but was voted down. The resolution passed with support solely from the board's four white members. We want to educate. You know, we want to do some sensitivity training, and we want to help our community become the place that can truly, in the, in the words of the ADL, say this is no place for hate. Moving forward, Rabbi Cernovitz says he now wants Cobb County schools to do more to address racism and create a Holocaust curriculum that is more than just facts. It's not just the, the facts, but it's the socio-emotional development of our students in our schools, and that begs the question, how do we allow our kids to engage? And Rabbi Cernovitz says he continues to have constructive conversations with the district and board members to support the district's Jewish students, and hopefully he can make that curriculum in Cobb County a reality. Sheba.